Uh, so, Min Zin, over to you. You're going to look at the unprecedented test for ASEAN centrality and its Indo-Pacific imagination. Thank you, Juan. Um, since the previous speakers focused on like broader, like larger, uh, you know, aspect of the region, I'm trying to bring the particular case and how it will have broader implication for the regional uh, associations and uh, imagination. So, like, uh, let, let me start with the um, first um, bezel. I think we all are familiar with uh, Hillary Clinton's uh, what she said in 2010. Uh, big expectation that ASEAN as a fulcrum, you know, for the regional architecture. Um, and then basically when we talk about ASEAN strength, there are two elements, right? Um, oops, can we, okay, two elements. One is the- uh, uh, Minzy, sorry, I don't think we're seeing your screen. Are you showing slides? Yes, you don't see it? No, I, we've also got some messages from people. They, they're not seeing it. Um, maybe you could try, have you got the share screen? On? Yes. I know you've done a lot of that. That share screen at the, at the bottom, perhaps. It's or on the it... bottom right. Yeah, see oh. the green button at the bottom of the screen. Let me stop it. Uh, there we go. Oh. And let me reshare it again. Does it work? No. Share screen button. Hmm. Sorry about that. That's strange. Yeah. Uh, is there a copy, uh, Lipley? Do you have a copy? Maybe not. I don't have it. Right. Okay. Well. Okay. You can try it. Try it one more time with. Uh, uh, nice. Does it work? Yes. 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 Voila. Okay. Um, Excellent. So uh, why don't you start with, uh, yeah, this is slide one, right? Yes. Okay. Please start again. Okay. Does it work? Yes. Okay. So the, the, the question is, uh, you know, when we talk about ASEAN strength, there are two elements, right? Um, um, one is like cooperative potential, the other one is economic potential. Uh, but in terms of political governance, you know, democracy and all these things and security initiative, especially in the context of Quad 2.0, ASEAN does not have much clout. But in terms of the procedural rule of convener, you know, like, like facilitating different groups and also like economic integration and growth, I mean, ASEAN has a good, uh, you know, like strength and potential. And then the, 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 the question here is whether Myanmar crisis, especially since the military coup in February, will make ASEAN ineffective or even irrelevant. That's an like, interesting question I want to address. When we talk, when we talk about Myanmar crisis, let me give a very brief overview. Um, so far, since the military coup, the both sides, the, the, the military hunter, as well as the, the huge public opposition movement, they haven't reached mutually hard and stalemate. So they haven't reached the, 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 the level of exhaustion. Uh, so then the both sides resist any types of mediation from the outside power and also domestic like religious leaders and other player who want to mediate uh, the conflict, both sides resist it. So there is not much end game uh, in the near future. And um, then the question is that the military themselves cannot control the ground or manage the conflict. There are a few reasons. One reason is even in my lifetime, I've never seen the unprecedented legitimacy crisis the military has been suffering because let alone about the broader population, they even cannot resurrect the elite patronage network that the Burmese like ruler since the Burmese kingdom, kingdom you know, they always have to uh, managed to establish vis-a-vis -vis the religious leader, vis-a-vis -vis the business community, vis-a-vis -vis the cultural, you know, like groups such as singers, music, I mean, the, the, the performance artists, you know, at the actress, even for that, military cannot activate it. So that's a very uh, interesting, uh, uh, you know, like the patronage network crisis that uh, the Myanmar rulers 
uh, has suffered, which is quite unprecedented. The second thing is the public itself is very still emotional, very still like drawing their expectation and their, their gratification from the armed insurrection rather than electoral politics. Even though military promise and create, uh, portray this crisis as military versus Aung San Suu Kyi's led NLD, but the public are not interested in any promise the military is offering in terms of electoral politics. And then the public, because of very bitter experience of crackdown, they are still like more gratified with the revenge rather than, rather than justice. Uh, that's why you can see the, the wholehearted support from the public toward the, the newly emerged uh, different types of BDF, we call it People Defense Forces, uh, basically organized by young, young people uh, in the aftermath of crackdown. And then the third element is the social media, Facebook fuel, and also amplify the both legitimacy crisis as well as the, the public appetite for their, uh, for their, for their like, armed insurrection. So in this case, uh, for the international community, uh, it's very difficult to offer anything meaningful because the, 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 the domestic you know, stakeholders are not willing to accept any type of mediation. So that's why it's very tempting for the international community to wait and see and to allow the, a, 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 a time to address the crisis so that you know, uh, the, 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 we call it like the role of attrition you know, can play a, as a factor in the Myanmar crisis. So China is quite happy with this, so that the Chinese delegate um, the Myanmar case to ASEAN, and it's five-point uh, consensus. And, and but at the same time, Beijing is pressing individual ASEAN member states um, not to allow inappropriate intervention from the Western countries. And then Russia somehow jump on it and saying that they support uh, Russia, also support um, the, the ASEAN five-point consensus. And the United States, especially in Quad, in the broader sense, also does not want Myanmar crisis to hijack its Indo-Pacific rollout. Um, so international community so far seem like intentionally, strategically slow down approach. That's allowed that factors of attrition in Myanmar seem sovereign the key players in the international community. So that's quite um, interesting, uh, uh, you know, like um, trend that I could observe in the past two, three months. And the Myanmar crisis, the problem is not waiting, especially the humanitarian crisis in the healthcare, the healthcare system collapse. As you all know, uh, many of the, the CDM, we call it like the civil disobedience uh, people are the health workers, doctors and nurses. So they are the one who wipe out the military government with this COVID crisis, the number of, number of COVID cases are in, incredibly increasing these days. And then the testing treatment and the plan for vaccinations are way behind what we need you know, in this, in this uh, uh, crisis scale. And despite inadequate testing, I, I, can, I can tell you that you know, in, within 10 days, we see 400% increase in terms of uh, COVID uh, cases in Myanmar. Um, so this is the, 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 the chart that, I mean, um, uh, you, you can see that how the, the spike in the even death uh, cases. Oh, it, it means in, sorry, if you're showing charts, I think the, the slides haven't moved at all. I think you have to go down. We're still on puzzle. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> sorry, I, I thought you were, you maybe, I think you have to manually. Can you change it? Can you change it yourself? Make, yeah, maybe you can manually click on. Oh, hmm. maybe I can. No, I can't. No, you have to see, do it. Do you see? Can you see the slides down the left hand side? Maybe you can click on. Hmm. Okay. Uh, how about let me let me try this. Yeah, or you can just uh, scroll down on the margin with the slides. I can see them lined up one above the other. Does it work now? No. So maybe click on uh, one of the lower ones. Does it work? Uh, no, it's not. So put, I think put, maybe put your cursor. This. You have to move your cursor to the to the ASEAN centrality um, slide, and then roll the no. roll the roll the mouse. I try. Um, Some things like stuff that here, like requesting the remote control of your screen. Should I approve? Yeah, do you want to approve? Yeah. 
Anyway, uh, I just, for the sake of time, I just want to- Yeah, um, so you were talking about the spike in infections. We can't see the chart, so maybe you could just give us a very quick update. I know it's suddenly exploding. Is that a result of more testing yes, uh, or yes. more, more spread? Yes, uh, especially mainly because of the lack of uh, the, the legitimacy the military has it. So people were uh, resisting to listen to the military. That's a very uh, uh, interesting irony uh, in, in Myanmar right now. People do not want to listen to the military. So um, even the same message, they are they want the the, the government, um, the 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 uh, the, uh, the, uh, the parallel government to do you know um, uh, things for them. So. Um, that's a, that's a serious issue. So for the ASEAN, uh, my point is um, that there are only two options right now. One is, as Chinese said, whether ASEAN uh, will abandon the, the ASEAN's way of soft lending and adopt uh, what people are now suggesting. Some people, especially in Indonesia and in Malaysia and Singapore, are suggesting the coalition of willing, which is basically um, um, this uh, Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore, and Philippines, they do not want to wait for um, uh, the, the other uh, reluctant ASEAN members uh, who experience Brunei, Thailand, you know, who are reluctant to add on ASEAN five point consensus. Um, so then, but that's a one option. The second option is focus on the humanitarian uh, humanitarian assistance, which can model after the ASEAN initiative in 2008 cycle markets uh, in Myanmar. Uh, the first option, like abandon the ASEAN approach, uh, even though if it is, it's less likely, uh, because even though it, it happened, it would be more self sovereign for the individual members of coalition group rather than addressing the Myanmar crisis. And it's hard to see especially why and how China and India should support such, you know, uh, the, 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 the deviant initiative that is beyond the institutional mandate of Security Council consensus on Myanmar. And more importantly, if uh, a group of the coalition or like willing coalition of willing uh, start this type of initiative that will seriously undermine ASEAN's internal cohesion, which is prerequisite for the uh, ASEAN like strength uh, in the cooperation. So, this, this, so, so that's why now we have second option, which is more like ASEAN-led humanitarian assistance, which can model after 2008 cycle of Nuggets experience. That's still feasible because even that COVID infection is even getting widespread within the military families and their, their, their close circles. So um, the only thing is we have to make it very clear that humanitarian assistance on the COVID-19 uh, to Myanmar is not an isolated or standalone issue crisis, which should be linked with the other parts of the ASEAN five point you know, uh, consensus. So, uh, so I think like that, that, that we need to make sure that some of the basic humanitarian principle uh, should be clearly articulated. For example, uh, the, 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 the release of large number of uh, doctors and nurses uh, for the uh, their white out against the military uh, should be immediately released, allow them to uh, to either resume work or to serve in the, the community clinic, clinic for the humanitarian work. Or the, the hunter should allow the cross-border assistance to the ethnic region uh, for the COVID uh, assistance. So that type of uh, uh, basic principles and uh, execution uh, uh, design should be carefully uh, articulated. And then the last, the last point I want to make um, is um, if we, if this, this, I mean, like COVID-19, which is of course is a huge disaster in Myanmar with that weak, the healthcare system, this also could offer a window of opportunity for us in, in the short and medium term to mobilize diverse international community and resources. Uh, thus we can look back at the, how ASEAN managed to do good in the, uh, cycle of Nargis to address Myanmar immediate uh, healthcare crisis. And that could even lead to a uh, broader or gradual uh, political mediation, uh, you know, um, the way that we already uh, saw in the, how does this struggle lead to political resolution and Archie and any other experiences. So this, this option, uh, the, the, the ASEAN-led humanitarian uh, intervention could render ASEAN itself uh, in a way more, more effective and relevant uh, uh, that they can prove when it comes to the markings. Thank you. Well, 
Thank you very much, uh, Min Zin. Sorry about those slides. Um, perhaps, I, I don't know, perhaps Claire, uh, they could be um, posted uh, later on with the recording of the conference. Um, but uh, just on a, a very quick point on your very, very relevant uh, point about uh, ASEAN's relevance or irrelevance, uh, the more it, it appears paralyzed by the Myanmar crisis. On the other hand, do you think that actually it is the very big powers like China and America, which have lent on ASEAN to, to be at the forefront and have actually pushed ASEAN forward and saying, you handle it. Actually, we all know who has the power to make a difference. And it's those kind of countries. You did briefly touch on Russia and you're, I think the only panelist actually who, who did focus a bit on Russia, I was, um, very curious what our other panelists would say about Russia's role, because we have discussed uh, to quite, a, quite a lot about China and uh, some about America. But anyway, um, uh, in terms of your point about ASEAN, do you actually think it's, it's ASEAN in the front line there, or, or really can we expect or should expect um, America and China to actually move things forward on, on Myanmar? And really, are you I haven't got any sense of how hopeful. I think you're not totally pessimistic uh, from your presentation, mm. but um, maybe you could uh, uh, touch on that. I'm, I'm quite concerned, you know, um, if, if the Marquis has been portrayed as a as a as an issue related to Sino. Uh, U.S. you know geopolitical rivalry, because the Marquis is a, is a case that violate every human decency, you know. As you can you can see in the UN Charter or ASEAN Charter or even Chinese like on paper, uh, 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 you know like a uh, commitment. So I think like we, we I just want to stay away from like portraying the Myanmar crisis uh, yeah, yeah. as a as a uh, you know part of the Sino uh, US uh, rivalry. So that's a one thing. I think with with Russia, I think we should we should be more uh, uh, more um, attentive. There's a one key very uninformed uh, understanding about um, Myanmar coup, Myanmar crisis is the Chinese supported Myanmar military to stage coup. It was not true. Chinese did not like it. For China, the Aung San Suu Kyi and the May Online, that, that, that partnership was perfect for them. You know, it was, it was pro-China, it was pro-Asian value, it was, uh, was anti-minority in some, in some way. So it was really good for China. Uh, so, but China did not support the military coup. It was Russia, uh, 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 you know, from the different sources we could we could um, we could make a like tentative claim. Uh, uh, was behind the military coup, and it was it was expecting to exploit the Myanmar military uh, uh, need for the arms and ammunition, and then want to play a role in the in the Asia, you know, uh, by 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 proving itself as like we are here. So I think like we should be more attentive to the role of Russia in this case. Uh, but at the same time, I really want to stay away from framing Myanmar issue as a part of Sino-US uh, rivalry. Sure, okay, appreciate that. And uh, as I think uh, many of us watching Myanmar saw the priority that Min Aung Lai, the junta chief has placed on, on Russia, even making his big visit there recently. Okay. And uh, a lot of new arms, arms uh, procurement. 